Hey everybody, I'm one of Weezin' here, 11.13 p.m. We are going to Pool Dark Food Fight, just introduced him and Food Fight, did the statistical comparison. Someone we don't have to do a statistical comparison on is Torch, which there she is by a volcanic eruptor. There's so many Skylanders here, it's a little overwhelming. Okay, well, that's kind of a unique voice for her. Two fire Skylanders collected her in Wildfire and Dark Wildfire. Who doesn't count? But uh, that's cool. Uh, we're going to come in here and do our little introduction thing for Mrs. Torch. So. Okay, she's kind of growing on me. She looks cool in the game. Uh, looks like someone you wouldn't mind hanging out with. Let's take a look at her uh, stats while I read you her story. Torch's childhood was spent working with her grandfather as a dragon keeper, where she helped tend a stable of dragons that protected her village. One year, an evil snow dragon, which obviously wouldn't gel well with Torch, unleashed a terrible blizzard that trapped her entire homeland inside a massive ice glacier. Tor glacier. Torch was the only one to escape. Having always been fearless, she set out at once to rescue the villagers and her dragons from inside their chilly fate. Armed with her fire spout flamethrower, she fought hard through the treacherous conditions and bravely defeated the snow dragon in an epic battle. After the village was free from its icy doom, Torch returned home to find her grandfather missing. Missing. The only token left behind was his lucky flaming horseshoe. Now, as a member of the Skylanders, Torch wields her powerful flamethrower as well as her lucky horseshoe in hopes it will one day lead her to the grandfather she lost. So, pretty cool story there. Uh, her stats. Let me get to my spreadsheet here. Where are they? It's live fire. There it is. Alright, so Torch, max health box stock, that is, is 230. Her armor is 12. You would think she might have higher armor, but she does not. Speed 60. Critical hit 40. Elemental power again would be 25. We've got wildfire registered, so plus 7. Um, 230, 60, 12, 40. Yeah, that matches the strategy, guys. So, we'll... Okay. Uh, let's check out the powers here. Box stock. Her basic attack includes blazing bellows. Press and hold X. I like that you can hold it to roast enemies with a flamethrower attack. Hopefully it's a perpetual hold. <sighs> we will find out as we go. Up next is flaming horseshoes. I like that. It's So she's got kind of like the in-your-face fire attack and then she's got what will be like a probably somewhat ranged attack. I think it'll be short. But uh, if she could get distance on it, that'd be great. Press B to pitch flaming horseshoes that stick to enemies. These next four are her base upgrades. It's heating up. Blazing bellow attack shoots farther and does extra damage. Flaming hair whip. So this makes sense. Now, again, she'd been a good candidate for light core. Press Y to whip flaming hair around and knock back nearby enemies. After that, we have got pyro pendant. Enemies with flaming horseshoes stuck to them take extra damage from fire. Lastly, we have got blue flame. That'll be cool. Uh, some of you will hate it, though. <laughs> uh, she's actually a character that I think would look better staying with the traditional flame colors, but a blue flame is a hotter flame. So, Hold X for a little longer, and flames turn blue, doing extra damage and going through enemies. It almost looks more like a plasma gun there. That said, the top path is called Forged in Flames. It's going to improve the bellows and her hair attack, so primary and tertiary. Scorched Earth Policy. Blazing bellow attack now sets the ground on fire, damaging anyone who touches it. That is followed up with hairs getting long. Flaming hair whip has increased range and does extra damage. After that, we've got double barrel bellows. Bigger blazing bellow flames. Uh, down below, this is going to basically be horseshoe type stuff. It's called Made of Metal is the path name. Extra hot shoes. Flaming horseshoes stuck to enemies do additional damage over time. And we got fireworks display. Flaming horseshoes will explode upon wearing off. And lastly, we've got hopping mad horseshoes. Use a fire attack on a flaming horseshoe and it comes to life attacking enemies. Her soul gem is called the Incinerator. Doesn't involve yawning, but uh, press X rapidly to create the ultimate flamethrower. That actually looks really cool. I'm excited about that soul gem. So. Well, back out of here, we've covered her stats, the story, the powers. Now we just need to see what they look like. 
Uh, she seems fairly quick. Uh, I wouldn't say she seems, you know, like stealth elfish or anything, but she does seem very quick. Uh, jump. She gets some pretty good air, in my opinion. Uh, primary attack, it is called the Blazing Bellows. 74. So that's really good. Let's hold it now. Talk to Persephone when you're ready to learn about upgrades. Hot, hot, hot. 74 to 111. Uh, apparently you can hold it infinitely. In addition to being able to spin it around, she can actually move, which makes her pretty dynamic. Uh, in all honesty, it's got pretty decent range box stock, so unless it's like a really long timer, I don't see it having any duration issue at all. Uh, secondary attack is, of course, the horseshoes. It was called, what's Flaming Horseshoes, I think? So let's see what it does. Oh, wow. That's got great range. 100, wow. Okay, so eventually we'll be able to shoot those in here. There we go, so I mean, that should be 100 to 150 ish, which is pretty significant. <laughs> and again, right there, I mean, great range and she can move with that so she should actually turn out to be a very very worthwhile Skylander to have in your collection and in my opinion she seems a bit quicker than some of the other characters that have been 60 again just an observation on my end now the cool thing is I've got torch from the pre-release and then I also uh, went in and personally bought the triple pack so I could have a regular blades and get a torch and kinda save money and I knew it has uh, wave series 4 gill grunt in it but uh, I have the standalone gill grunt I did that mainly because I thought it would be rare you know something might not see a lot of so we'll see how it pans out but I do have two torches so I can take both paths excited about that uh, that said my personal sites one of .com. if you're not subscribed here make sure to do that similarly I will be live streaming this entire game from the Xbox one on my twitch account so if you're on twitch make sure you follow me there uh, you can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Last but not least, if you enjoy the extra attention to detail, if you like the statistical comparisons, the thorough process I go through documenting attack damage on upgrades, uh, just in general, the more information I provide, if you're that type of a person that appreciates those things, I encourage you to check out the Skylander Club forum. Uh, Skylander Club slash forum, that's the place you need to go. If you like what you see, we'd love to have you sign up. we got some great people already on board and we would love to have you join us as one of those said people so that said for myself and torch i'm going to end this uh i think what i'm going to do now is actually throw on the nightmare express the piggy bank the hand of fate mirror of mystery i'll probably make each one a separate video i just want to see if they like expand the hub world what they do and then i want to know in particularly, uh, if the piggy bank's going to be like a big help in me getting money in this game. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, I've got most of the introductions done now. I uh, still have a couple of the uh, returning characters and minis to do, but uh, the new landers, the trap masters, they're all taken care of now. So uh, that said, thanks again for watching, and uh, I will catch you back here as we check out what these adventure packs are going to do in the game.